So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another rebuild and today we got some Clipper news man. I never rebuild the Clippers but as somebody who was a fan of the Timberwolves, I am also a Rockets fan. I read both my cities. Yo, yo, Jimmy just requested a trade and I'm not really feeling it. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoy these rebuilds and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and like it up and of course subscribe. My last rebuild was with the Nets. Tomorrow, I am going to be doing a double upload, double uploads this weekend. We are back on the rebuild grind. A lot of concepts and different stuff coming. So make sure just to let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. Whether it's a squad builder, anything like that. Let your boy know in the comment section below. And let me know where you guys think Jimmy Butler is going. And should I do this with the Nets and the Knicks? Let me know. But you guys better believe as somebody who is a fan of the Wolves, I'm look, I'm down to trade him to any one of those teams. And alright. Since we got some time, if we trade him to the Clippers. I want D'Angelo Russell. Simple. That's who I want. If we were trading him to the Nets, I want D'Angelo. The Knicks, y'all just not getting him because I don't think that you guys are willing to like give up Kevin Knox. You guys are getting him. And if we go to the Clippers, well, you guys are going to be seeing exactly how I feel about that. All right. And I am going to try to keep this realistic. But, of course, I'm going to have to trade, override this trade because clearly uh, 2K probably won't be feeling my kind of trade. But I'm going to tell you guys how I would do it. We got to get Tobias Harris just to make the contracts work. Then another person I want, I want Shea. All right. I want Shea Gilgis Alexander. And I think getting Jerome Robinson would be asking for a little bit too much. But I low key want him too. But I know that they probably won't be doing that. But if we got a deal where we get Shea and Tobias, you guys get Jimmy Butler, and you guys get. And you guys get, like, I don't, I don't want to give up Justin Patton and be real with you. And you guys get, like, Kate Bates Diop. Wait, where, where was he drafted? He was taking around pick. All right. I would be down to trade Gene Butler and Keita Bates Diop for Tobias Harris and Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's the trade that I'm going with. I think that that's pretty much a fair trade. Well, actually, obviously, you guys win that trade by a mile. So, personally, like, like I said before, if they could somehow, if Thibodeau can make one good decision since, since he's been there and just finesse them for Tobias Harris, um, Shea, and Robinson, I'd be cool. Even though, as I was saying before the draft, I don't know who Robinson is, I would still be down to actually do it. Um, just because we are, like, we're just not that good. Like, Jimmy Butler, look, bruh, it was fun. Wiggins' brother tweeted hallelujah i'm look i'm down for all of that stuff man oh yeah and you guys have to give us something else um i'll take that second round pick all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that we're gonna override that trade that's the only time that we're gonna override it but jimmy butler welcome to the los angeles clippers playboy i don't know what you're doing i don't know that maybe now we can get Kyrie irving that's who i'm going after in the offseason of course but Looking at this, looking at this lineup, it looks like it's me, Patrick Beverly, Jimmy Butler, Danella Gallinari, Montrezl Hero, and Marcin Gortat. This team is extra trash, extra extra trash. But anyways, guys, um, like I said before, let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. Make sure you go ahead and of course subscribe. Let me know which rebuilds you guys want to see, and I guess let's just get into it because, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this thing realistic and realistically. Jerry West has been saying that the only reason why he even wants that, the only reason why he even drafted Shea and Jerome Robinson, he wants to trade those pieces or those draft picks for an all-star. He got one. Now, we got to, now, we still got Bradley and Lou Will. Obviously, I'm, I'm probably going to be trying to trade Pat Bev and Avery Bradley. Matter of fact, let's see if we can do that right now. Let's see what we can get for him. Because, obviously, I want to bring the Clippers a championship the goal is to get Kyrie Irving in free agency, and I think that that's definitely possible. So, why not just, all right, what can we get for Avery Bradley? The Lakers are not giving us a pick. Why on earth would they do that? And this is, I mean, he's on a two-year deal. I just don't want him. <laughs> like, to be real, how about Danello? How about Danello Gallinari? What can we get for him? This man is not good. Um, Nothing crazy. All these are pretty trash. I mean, if, if, we, if we really want to push it, we can just hang on to it, just to be real. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're probably going to do. I mean, we already got the uh, big trade out the way. All right, uh, hold on, dog. Dang, like, there are so many, like, they have so many shooting guards on this team, and like I said, there's just no way that that my Wolves don't trade the, don't trade Jimmy and get Shea back, and I, I would love that deal. Wiggins and Towns have somehow gotten worse since he got on the team, but, all right, anybody else I can develop on this team while I'm at it? Oh, yeah, let's develop him as well. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna let this thing ride, uh, I think going the realistic route might make this thing a little bit boring, but then I think it'll just be a lot better. Like I, I don't really, I don't, I really, I really don't know where we're at with this team. Um, Pat Bev, obviously, I heard that the Suns want him. Maybe we just let the Suns take him. Depends on who they're offering. Cause I mean, there's no scenario where this team is just great. Like, bruh, why do I? Why would I want Troy Daniels? You guys have, have a draft pick or something? Do we even have ours? I don't even think that we have our pick. We are in big trouble. All right, um, you guys can... Dang, y'all don't have anything. I don't want Troy Daniels, though. I mean, if this is what we really got to work with, this ain't this ain't terrible. It's just not that good either. But you know what? Um, Avery Bradley, he's 6'2". You know what? Let's just let it ride, cause I don't want I don't want to go up and make a crazy signing, and then it just re and then it just ruins my my whole want to like stay realistic. So let's just try this thing out, and we're gonna see what we have by the end of this season. Motley, he's already uh yeah just just hop in the G League, brother. All right, but I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, and hopefully in three seasons we can actually win some. And at the end of season number one, you, as usual, you guys already know, all these awards are pretty much exactly the same in the first year. I'm almost sure that we have nobody on any of these teams. Jimmy does make All-NBA third team. Good for him, man. Uh, did Towns at all? Okay, no Towns. Okay, okay. Jimmy's All-Defensive first team as well. And that's all that we got. All right, so let's see what we actually uh, see the stats. Did we even make the playoffs? I don't think that we did because we had a losing record and we're in the West. We finished as the 10th seed right outside the playoffs. Um, Stats-wise, let's go to the stats real quick. Jimmy got a, yeah, he led to scoring 21.4 points per game. Nearly 7 assists, 5, nearly 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Lou Will was 17. All this stuff was definitely W for us. But let's look at um these guys in the G League. Lashi, he's a 76. And Robinson is at a 79, so he's probably going to be playing next season. Probably going to start him at shooting guard, Jimmy at small forward. We're going to see how we want to win that lineup because we're going to be going after Kyrie Irving. But anyways, guys, like I said before, man, just let me know what you guys think about the Jimmy Butler trade. If you guys want to see more of the reboots or do you guys like the NBA videos, like the one that I uploaded yesterday, yeah, sub promo, check that video out and check out my second channel. Link is in the description below. But I'm pretty sure that the Raptors are going to win this championship because it seems like in every single reboot I do, they always end up doing that. 2K has overpowered that team, like I said before. They've really overpowered the mess out of this team. Let's see who got it. Hopefully, I mean, it should be Golden State, but all right. All right, cool. This simulation, Boogie, Finals MVP. I've seen that twice. All right, so getting into the offseason, let's see what we actually got. Dwayne Wade should be retiring. There we go. And let's get into the draft lotto. We don't have our pick, so, you know, that's always bad. Or, hold on. We have the 13th pick. 13th pick. Hopefully, we can get some, something nice with the 13th pick. Doc Rivers, this is your. This is probably your, your last year player. Not going to lie. This is probably your last year coaching here. Because the uh, Doc Rivers era just has not been that fun. Not gonna lie to you, he just has not been all that fun. Matter of fact, I'm my fire room right now, to be real with you. Is there anybody else good here? Like, I don't, I mean, he's he's honestly like the best option. Like, nobody else here is really great. Yeah, I wouldn't want to, yeah, he's the best winner. Other than Nick Nurse, Jacob Underwood, uh, that's not even a real coach. Let's just go ahead and let's hop into the NBA draft. And who are we, who are we predicted to be getting with the 13th pick? 
Tyler Hero. Uh, I'm not looking for another shooting guard. Nas Reed would be interesting. I mean, while we're here, what can we get for Danello and Thornwell? What what is that worth? Something that actually makes sense is what, is what I'm looking for. Is if a trade makes sense, and would, would they trade that? I don't think a lot of people are, are going to be are going to be opening up the bag for Danella Gallinari. The Timberwolves are not, not going to be doing that. The Warriors, but then we're just making them better. So I don't really want to do that either. Because look, this deal we just make them a whole lot better. We get a first round pick. I don't really want Sean Livingston. Honestly, dog. I mean. I don't want to do it, but it's like we need those picks. But this makes them so much better. Dog, I don't. I'm sorry. Golden State is about to go back to freaking back. Unless, well, they, they don't have any money. They don't have any money now. So maybe this actually helps us in the long run. The most that we can probably get back here is like a second round pick, which I would graciously say. I don't really want Joe Kim Noah. Take them. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and let's hop into the NBA draft. Unless we can move up. If we can move up, I'm down to do that. If I throw in, like, how much did Avery Bradley even put up? Yeah, he was pretty ass for us. <laughs> he was pretty trash for us. They're not giving him Josh Richardson. I, and I still want to draft somebody. All right, let's just hop into the NBA draft, and let's just hope that somebody good falls to us. All right, come on. Who's the best player available? <laughs> this guy right here says he's a B minus. Um, he's a power forward, six ten. He can be a starter. We could just go Nas Reed here, or Charles Bassey. Those are two positions that we actually need. I'm not going Ty Tyler Hero. Let's just draft him. I mean, what's the what's the worst that he could actually be? He might even be a steal. Yeah, he, he was a 73. I probably should have went Reed, but you know what? It's cool. Uh, do we have any more picks? Nope. Let's get into free agency. We're going after Kyrie Irving. Simple. We're going after Kyrie. That draft pick might have been an L. Jimmy declined it, but he already stated that he's willing to like resign with this team. Let's just try to get Kyrie Irving. We can restrict Milos. And this is the part of it where we might actually be able to build a super team. Let's just see what we can actually do. All right, so Kyrie, I know you want to play with your boy Jimmy. Let's get it. And we're his number one team. Jimmy Butler, I'm going to hold off on getting him back just because I know that we actually have a chance to. I like this. I like this a lot. All right, uh, somebody else that we can go after, DeMarcus Cousins. This might be mad. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who else is there? Damn, Ka Kawhi's not there, but Kevin Durant is. People are saying Kevin Durant on the Lakers. What if Kevin Durant joined Kyrie Irving on the Clippers? That's pretty crazy. All right, is there anybody else here that we would even look at getting? Um, uh, nah. I, I like this. Hold on. We're not renouncing his rights. Let's... Bruh. All right. Who can I move? Who's taking up a chunk of cap? It's Avery Bradley. He's always ruining everything. All right. If I can just, like, I just need to move him somewhere. Like, at this point, I, I, I just give him away. Just to be honest. At, at this point, I just be giving him away. Because I, I don't think that anybody would actually trade a first-round pick for Avery Bradley. 2023 first-round pick. Honestly, it's not even all that significant. Yeah, you got some throwing stuff in the round. Like, that's not even, like, a huge trade, j just to be honest. That's not even a huge trade. All right. Uh, What are we looking at now? Because I want to get both of them, just to be real. Still got to give up Jimmy. There we go. So, I, I could keep Jimmy Butler's rights. But I do got to give up Milos's rights, Gortat's rights. I don't really care about none of that. As long as we can get Kyrie... And Durant? Yeah, that's the move. All right, so looking at our team, we got Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Jimmy Butler. I know I kind of went out of balance signing Kevin Durant, 
but he had no other offers and I pretty much connected KD probably wanting to play in Los Angeles with the whole Jerry West working for, for the Warriors thing. We're going to try this lineup out, all right? Even though it kind of sucks that we had to get rid of uh, Lou Will to make the salary work, it's honestly fine. Let's just go ahead and I think that's the only big names that we could actually sign during this free agency. Is there anybody else here? Isaiah Thomas, we don't got the, we don't got the money to get him. Are there any veterans that might want to play here? Um, any that we actually want though, that, I guess that's the real question. Melo still is tripping with that contract. Gord Sott, if he takes less, I'm down to pay him. And there we go. I think that we're good, man. Let's just go ahead and let's hop into training camp, but let's see what we can do with this team. But we got Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, and Kevin Durant. That's not that crazy to believe. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, we've heard the uh, Kyrie and, and, and Jimmy Butler rumors, but throwing Kevin Durant, that's not all that far off. I don't think that Kevin Durant is going to, to the Lakers while LeBron is there. I think that he could possibly be there uh, after LeBron retires, but I just don't see him helping LeBron win a ring. However, I can see him in Los Angeles and, J J and Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving Recruiting him there hasn't Durant said that he wouldn't mind or he would enjoy playing with Kyrie Irving That might just be the move All right, so let's send Robinson to untapped potential to get that potential up uh, next so we can send untapped potential to Jalen hands and We only got two training camps Let's hop into this next season sign whoever you guys want we got the best three that we that we could possibly have now if we want to start Jerome, we could actually do that. If we run Butler at small forward, all right. Let's see if we if we have the right lineup that we want to run, because we could easily play Durant at power forward if we, if we really wanted to. And Diop is gonna play as well. All right. Let me just go ahead and let me redo this lineup because I like Durant at power forward, Jimmy at small forward, and starting our first round pick. All right, so this is going to be our lineup for this season. It's going to be Kyrie Irving, Jerome Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Durant, and Marcin Gortat. He's the weakest link of this entire lineup, but he definitely is a quality center. Off the bench, we got Keita Bates, Diop, Montrez Harrell, Sterling Brown, Jalen Hands, and Shatu. Yeah, I know I messed up his name. Ajinka, bunch of L's. We even got Milos there. <laughs> Let's just see what this team can do. Since we're now a buying team, I didn't even check the rankings last year, but we're ranked as the fifth best team. And while I'm actually at it, player mentorship. We're going to use this. Jerome Robinson, he can learn from, from Jimmy Butler. Clutch performer, microwave. Um, I want him to be better on defense. I'm cool with all of that. Uh, next up, Keita Bates Diop. I mean, learn from the best scoring person, like probably ever. Uh, so let's do that. Entire the score. You can learn from... I guess, I mean, the Gortat can't really do anything crazy. I mean, if you want to learn from Kyrie, I mean, I I, I don't know what, what you can really learn there as a power forward, but, I mean, you can have it can be the coldest power, power forward out there. Sterling Brown, he can learn from anybody. I, I really, it really don't matter. I mean, these guys can teach themselves. All right, who can he learn from? Damn, Jalen, honestly, Jalen Hand's learnings from Kyrie, from Kyrie is so much more important. All right, let's just try this out, man. Honestly, I kind of went far with getting KD, but even that's not that, that, that's not that crazy. It's not like I forced a ridiculous trade. Let's just see what this team can do. We somehow still lost to the, how we lose to the Suns and the Wolves. Let's just get to the end of the season. At the end of this season, we don't even crack 50 wins. We are a 49-win team. Giannis is the MVP. All that stuff is cool. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do we have anybody on any of the all-NBA teams? We got KD on all-NBA second team. So he was doing this thing. And other than that, that's all we got. Jimmy Butler makes all-defensive second team. And is that about it? Keita Bates, Diop, and Jerome Robinson. All rookie second team. All right. So the team was not that bad. It definitely could have been better. We finished out as the fourth seed in the West. I think that we could have definitely been higher. 
But the Warriors, they ain't even make the playoffs. They they lost Boogie and Durant and replaced KD with Danilo Gallinari. How did they, but how do they still not make the freaking playoffs? 39 wins. What was going on here? The reigning MVP. Yo, that is so free. I've never seen that happen ever, but the Nuggets are definitely not going to be ahead of us. All right, stats-wise, let's look at these stats real quick. We're led in points by Kyrie, nearly 25 points a game, 6 assists. All that stuff is cool. Durant with 22. Jimmy with almost 18. And everybody was just falling in line. I mean, Kita base Diop, everybody was just balling. Jalen Hands now that's 76. Shitu, whatever, is now to 75. And that's all that we got to really worry about. All right, let's just hop into it, man, because all right, all stars. Jimmy, KD, they all they all had to be all, all stars. Durant was, yeah, and Kyrie. No Jimmy Butler. Kind of wild, not gonna lie to you. But let's just get into the playoffs, man. We should be able to like the. I mean, the Rockets are very very good, but I think that we should cruise through these first two rounds because there's so many so much firepower. But we're already down two one. 2-2, two, two, come on. Bruh. All we gotta do... Yo, as I'm recording this, it says that Jimmy Butler is most determined to find a way to the Clippers. So, I'm doing this at the perfect time. Hopefully, we don't lose to the Rockets. I think that we could destroy the Phoenix Suns. All right, Durant with 36-10-7. I like that. Come on. Come on. Let Durant take down the Thunder. Come on, man. This is a close game. I, I don't really like close games. Oh, we we got this. Let's go. We dropped nearly 150 points on their head. Durant with 23, 9, and 9. Kyrie with 32. Harden tried. We're taking on the Thunder. We take game one. We take game two. Come on. Take that 3 0 lead, and we do in advance. How we sweep them, but we go seven with the. I mean. It's the Rockets. I kind of get it. But we're, we're, we're taking on the Denver Nuggets. Let's get them up out of here. Let's win this championship. And now Durant can... I mean, at, at this point, Durant has to be in everyone's top 10, right? We're down 3-1 to the freaking Nuggets. Dude, how good are, is this Nuggets team? I really don't understand how, how they're beating us. Like, I really just don't get it. But maybe they blow this lead. We blow them out. Come on. Let them blow... That gracious old 3-1 lead. It's it's been done so many freaking times. Bruh. How we lose to this team. We let Trey Lyles beat us. Alright. We're coming back for one more season. I'm not gonna be making any crazy changes. The Raptors won the championship. I'm not rolling with that. But I'm coming back for one last season. I don't know how we didn't win it. I really don't get how we how we did not win it this season. But honestly. It's probably Doc Rivers. Um, at this point, we got no reason to even keep him. All right, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, Doc, I'm sorry, dog. <sighs> Jacob Underwood, let's just go ahead and let's hire. Actually, um, yeah, well, let's, it should be ours. Like, there should be no question about this. We get both of them. All right, let's just get straight to team player options. L let's bring back all of our young guys, and maybe we can improve at center. Yeah, let's bring both those guys back. Maybe we can improve at center. That's the only like question mark about this team is center. We're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna restrict everybody. Just to be honest, let's try to bring everybody back. And heading into training camps, let's see what we can actually do. Like the only thing that we're really missing is a center. Like our center position is is right now. I think is Javel McGee. All right, but first saw perimeter defense for Jerome Robinson. That's what he really needs to improve on. Um, other than that, let's see who we can give this to. Jalen Hands, let's just make him into a better shooter. Yeah, him, yeah, yeah, he just needs to be able to shoot. All right, I think that we're actually good, but yeah, our center position is by far the weakest it's ever been. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can do with that, because right now it's JaVale. He's a 73. Gortat's pretty garbage as well. What can I get for Dorio Finley-Smith and Milos? I mean, anything really works. I, I try to pick up a center for agency, all those dudes were, they were just crazy. All right, John Henson is here. Who else is here? All right, I'll take John Henson. All right, he's not trying to, okay. There's a, 
all these centers are in weird places. All right, Giles, we, we could definitely trade for Harry Giles. He's the third string center. All right, um, who do you guys want for him? How much do you guys even pay him? 11 mil? For what? Should take Gortat. You guys can have Gortat. I don't want to give up JaVale because we still need a backup. Bro, why did you guys pay him so much money? It, it's It's ridiculous. All right, I guess forget him. Shit, all these guys are pretty. They're pretty bad. Yo, Dwight Howard. He's thirty-four. He can still rebound though. He's all right. Let's try to get Dwight Howard. There's no way that you guys paid him. Wait, what? Oh, forget that. Yo, some of these contracts for these centers are terrible. Gortat and Finley, what's there? The man was opening the bag. All right, the Timberwolves are not going to be trading with us again. I'll throw in a second. Dude, there are really, like, no centers out there. Oh, yeah, let's just get, let's just pick you up. Look, I know that trade was not realistic. I'm gonna take it. It's not. It's not that big of a deal. All right. Uh, what does he go to? Where's he at? Center. He's a 76. I'll take it. Anything is better than what we already had. We're gonna try to run the exact same lineup as last year. Kevin Durant, power forward. I like that move. Let's try it again. All right, there. These two guys. The first guys off the bench. Reduce your minutes. I'm going to be putting Sharif in the G League. Yeah, let's put Sharif in the G League. And JaVale's the backup center. All right. I like this lineup a whole lot better. Durant, I need you to get buckets, man. Just need you to get buckets. You can, you can play about 24. Play like that. Get some right there. Sterling Brown. Actually, let's go. Cut these down just a little bit. All right. And once again, Sharif, G League. And I think we're good. Player mentorship, we honestly should be fine at. This team is honestly the exact same team. Last year, we were ranked fifth. This year, they got us ranked ninth. If we don't win a championship this year, I just don't know. I just don't know what to say because everybody developed. All, all the young guys got better. I don't see how anybody is really able to stop a team with 390 overalls on it. It just does not add up to me. And at the end of this season, Giannis is a two-time MVP. And we also added five more wins to our record. And Jacob Underwood is the coach of the year. As you go 54 and 28, Definitely a good look for us. No Kevin Durant on the first team. He does make the second team, and we have nobody on the third team. All right. J Jimmy Butler does make all the defensive second team once again, and we have no rookies, obviously. This team was very, very good, man. We finished as the number one seed in the Western Conference this season, and behind us was the Houston Rockets, one win behind us. Stats-wise, we're led in points by Kyrie once again. This man's taking all the shots. Jimmy, his numbers did go down a little bit, but Jerome's did go up. All right. Uh, Sharif O'Neal, we put him in the G League. What's his overall now? We might as well go ahead and peep that. His overall is now an 80. Yeah. He's playing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go ahead and let, let the man play. Since this is the final year, we might as well let him play. All right. We might as well let that man play. All right. And... You can shoot, right? I'm pretty sure that you can shoot. You can't really shoot. Well, Sharif's going to take your minutes f f for show then. Um, you guys battle whoever wants those minutes. We do need a backup shooting guard, so I guess he has priority. But you guys can duke it out for those last few minutes. Feel me? All right. And the backup lineup... Is gonna be Jerome Robinson. No, he's he's starting. 
shield. Honestly, dog, it don't really matter. I think this time we're going to win. Round one versus the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies should not really be a problem for us because they are the Grizzlies. And do they get swept? <clears throat> nope, they do not. But we beat them. No? Okay. Kind of scared me. We, we won six games. Up against the Lakers. We take game one. We take game two. Let's go up 3-0. Come on. Dog, we can't be losing to the Lakers. It's 2-2. Two, two. This is not a good look. Let's end it. And we do. Up against Houston. Alright, can we be Houston? We, we lose game one. Come on, y'all. Let's go up 2-1. This is not the best look. Hopefully, we don't suffer from the Clippers curse. Let, let's advance to the NBA Finals. We advance and we're taking on Boston. You guys already know Boston team. I think that we, we, we might have more. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We took Kyrie Irving. Marcus Smart is starting at point guard. Ken Rogers is starting at shooting guard. Then we got Hayward, Larry Nance, and Nerlens. Now the bench, Tatum is the best bench player. They have a cold bench. This, this is a really good bench with Tatum and Romeo Langford. Oh, we we should have this. We, we, we should have this. This man, Kyrie, snaked them. And it looks like the Clippers are going to finally break that curse and win the championship. I'm really feeling this one. All right. One minute, 32, one minute, 32 seconds left. We're up by eight points. Durant has 20. Butler has 28. Let's hop in the game. And it looks like the Clippers are going to be getting their first championship ever. Yo, look, 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 look. As a Tim Woods fan, like I said before, take Jimmy. We're just going to need some of those young players back. But let's get straight into the gameplay and the ceremony. All right, come on. Let's run it up. Kyrie has double assists. That rarely happens. All right, I do want the starters in, though. And the rest not fouled out. That's cool. Oh, give me those. That was a fourth shot. I should have passed it to KD. Oh, that's on me. Nope. That's going in. Never mind. Let's go. Pass it over to Kyrie. Give it to Durant. Give me that. Buckets. That's light work. I mean, I do like that they I do like that they picked up Romeo Langford, probably with that Kings pick, but they lost Kyrie. Jalen Brown, I, I didn't even see Jalen Brown on the squad. So I don't know what they did with Jalen Brown. I definitely think that Tatum should be starting, though. They got Larry Nance starting. Like, what did, what what are you doing to even think that that was a good idea? <laughs> now y'all's bench is nice because Tatum's on the bench and then you guys got Langford who's probably a top five pick that's all cool that's definitely what's up but you guys should have messed around and um well not lost Kyrie probably should have just traded him here and y'all's lineup is just all over the place I'm just gonna keep it OG with you but I definitely think that we won this game let me know what you guys thought about this reboot in the comment section below I know that getting Kevin Durant like, I wanted to keep this thing realistic, but, you know, you don't pass up getting KD. All right? You you just don't do that. All right? You just don't do that. That's that's easy. J Jimmy got 30 now. We cannot pass up getting Kevin Durant. And I also think that I could see him playing in Los Angeles. And if they already got Jimmy Butler, they get a commitment from Kyrie Irving. KD, that might be very enticing just to show you guys that he doesn't have to have Golden State to actually win. But come on. Let's finish off this gameplay already. I mean, we already took the W. Here's Langford. Smart passes to Morris. And Durant launches from deep. Off target with that shot. And the Los Angeles Clippers are your new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment and you talk about a defining moment this is it they have played so well together they deserve every ounce of this NBA championship moment and seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs what a joy I mean there is no better champion 
the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. And of course, at the end of it, we are NBA champions. Kyrie Irving actually walks away with the Finals MVP. He averaged nearly 23 points, 10 assists, 2 steals, while shooting 44% from the field. Hey man, just let me know what you guys thought about this rebuild and where you guys think Jimmy Butler is going. Like I said during uh, this rebuild, I got, I got a notification in the middle of it saying that Jimmy is really trying to go to the Clips. But our final roster was Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Butler, I think these are all possibilities, especially Kyrie Irving, and even KD a little bit, and then we kept Jerome Robinson, we picked up Sharif O'Neal in the draft, I didn't even know, like, to be honest, then we had Montrez Harrell, Jalen Hands as our backup point guard, Keita Bates-Diop, Sterling Brown, whatever this guy's name is, I mispronounced it a lot, Henry Ellenson, JaVale gets another championship, Milos, Anuk, whatever, bruh, look, we won the championship with the Clippers, breaking all the curses of curses. Jerry West is a wizard. And let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if we should do this with any other teams. But other than that, subscribe to the second channel and follow me on Twitter. And I'm out. Peace, y'all.